TM. Thing. Okay. Um, right. Oh, this is annoying. I'm going to have to do a bit of reframing here, but I, I don't. I want to play David Hayden first, so you have to bear with me. David Hayden's a really good player, so um, I don't want to lose too much time against David Hayden. So do bear with me, and I'm just going to whack this screen up here for now, and I'll change it a little bit later. Okay. Because obviously it's a tournament you want to do well in, you can qualify, and if you qualify you can play. David Hayden, very strong blitz player, and if you do qualify then you can get to play in the knockouts. There's a bit of prize money at stake, so I want to try and take it a little bit seriously. And um, let's castle and go for an attack. And the thing with David is he's really quick, so that's why I'm going to have to do some adjusting, I'm afraid after after this round so let's try that one so if you can't see it well tough luck for now i'm afraid um in quite a weird position but where's he going to put his knight now does he have to play this one he does now like i say david's one of his main strengths is his speed he is bloody quick um and he's very good he's very good so let's see if i can get a win on the board here it'd be very nice I probably shouldn't have allowed that that was rather silly of me to do that oh why do I do that I'm not thinking see this is why I'm thinking about I don't really want to oh dear he just takes my night okay I'm gonna resign this one see this is the bloody I oh, so I might actually even give up streaming I don't know if I I don't want to play crap chess because I've got too many things going on that would just piss me off so well, let me see I'm gonna try to rearrange things here now anyway so we can try to uh, at least our, 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 for the future games we might have a set up I'll try a little bit more but the problem is when you're streaming and trying to do the technical stuff it gets very annoying okay so let me see if I can just readjust things and we'll try it one more time could be a very premature stream uh, this one so let's let's whack that one there and I'm just gonna get the times because this will mean that for the future games where did that go you can at least I don't have to mess about during the games which I don't want to be doing I'm just gonna say uh, sorry just setting the stream up David and uh, let me just see if I can at least I lost that game quickly could have been worse right let's get that let's get that one in there and hopefully like I say we won't need to do any messing about in future then and then I'm gonna get the scores up so if I can keep the scores up, that'd be nice. And we want to have a look at the top scores, don't we? So let me just put that somewhere. And I am playing the game, thank you. Yes, but here are the scores. I don't know who Jab I don't know who Jabar um who Morozevich is then, if Morozevich is playing. Okay, let's see if that works then. Um okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna resign that one. Just just total lack of concentration there. And uh let's see if things can get a little bit better after that one I haven't resigned because I wanted to obviously frame the board that is the thing because I, I haven't done anything in Lee chess before but now it should be all framed so we can see uh, how everything stands so there you go so let's play some chess now okay so now straight away we're playing a very tough game because Kings Crusher is an annoying opponent to play again a very quick player now I have got I think a very good score against him I've got 5-1 it says uh, well in my uh, thing down the bottom which is good but let's see if we can get it in a bit more of a vibe maybe I should go knight here that's something I'm can, thinking about but actually I, I don't know let's not do that I'm gonna try to give him this knight around I've always got this knight move the reason I've got a6 is to stop his bishop coming to b5 and I'm just gonna try and bring this one to a better square first of all okay so now Kings Crusher one of the OGs of online chess right and now can I go d3 I'm gonna go d3 because it looks very interesting and come in this way with the knight and this seems quite an interesting position um yeah there's no increment today it's just bang 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 
So you, you want to get a roll going. That's certainly true. Maybe I should have played something like this, first of all. He's going to go here, that's a problem. Okay, so I don't really want to allow him to play that move. And I'm going to try and just stop that and play it a bit positionally, if I can. So he's come back. And what's he doing here? Anything? Well, we don't want to play too positionally, do we? So let's... let's Let's lunge forwards with this. Threatening f4. And now I'm going to take that one. He's trying to complicate matters. So I was hoping this move would just win. And I think it does. But I'm also just thinking, what about this one? Is that better? But then he goes queen takes. So we will just play this move. And we got like f4. Or bishop takes knight first coming up next. So, which one do we do? I'm going to take this one, I think. And barring, he's got actually, he's got this move, which is actually quite annoying. Okay, good thing he didn't play that, because he, he, well, I mean, I'm probably, I must be doing okay there, but it's a little bit trickier. So as long as I don't lose on time, this is basically all over. Um, because I'm a piece up. Maybe I should even put my king into the position first. I'll grab that one now because I've got a very handy Harry pawn. And he, he's struggling to get his rooks into the game as well. And he, he, that's not a move you play <laughs> when you're in desperate need of getting some counterplay. So he can really resign and he does now. Okay, so um, if you want to know who the players are, maybe... Uh, Aldo in the chat can help a little bit. Um, we've got Hans Schmidt is... Um, I wonder why you can't see number one there. That's a little bit odd. Uh, maybe that'll change. We've got David at number one. Um, and then we've got Amit, number two. I don't know who Merlotti is. Who is Merlotti? Okay, so there's no... There you go. You can see the scores there. Two hours... And um, there's no, what do they call it? Um, that stuff where you uh, you halve the time limit. There's none of that. There's none of that going on here. It's literally just the uh, arena all the way. So we're just gonna go over a little Dutch now. I don't know who I'm playing, the pawn, but it doesn't seem like my opponent has a rating really here. It doesn't look like he's played many games. So he could be like 1800 or he could be like super duper 100 because <laughs> there's a lot of sharks in this tournament so uh berserking that's the word i was looking for there's no berserking you can see the guy I played in the first round moved into first place he's a very good player and the time of the tournament left well you can't see it but it stops um so i'm thinking as well in about an hour and an hour and 40 minutes so why am I, I'm not even thinking again. I'm looking, whenever I don't concentrate on the chess, I play terrible. We could have just won a pawn there. <laughs> so this is the thing. Concentrate on the chess, Simon. Um, okay, right. So let's try to get my knight into d3. And we'll go for that. Yeah, so there's no berserking. So you have to play proper chess today, which some people would probably be happy with. Some people probably won't. It's nice to get my knight into that square. Now, I might just go back here because I've got a little threat. It's nice to just uh, keep the pressure on a little bit. This is just my little threat and he's, he's spotted it. Fair enough. Uh, and the other idea, now I've got this lovely knight here, is to open it up on the C file. I could have won that pawn. That's true, but just concentrate again develop still need to get in a, the thing with these things you need to get in a little roll right and okay rook here seems natural i might have to play on both sides of the board and i really don't want to go g5 so i'm at i mean my queen h5 is just a little trick really shouldn't play such tricks i want to get rid of this knight i think now attack this one and maybe get my bishop to this diagonal or the other idea is just to push the h pawn to try and soften things up over there 
but I seem to have like I have quite good control um, on both sides of the board. Yeah, and I think the thing, the way to win these events is to play really quickly, uh, and probably not to stream. <laughs> to be to be totally honest, I don't think I don't think uh, I don't think it helps streaming. So. Uh, Okay, so I'm going to use I'm going to use old Hario, and probably the thing the thing of me I'm never going to win this thing because I'm literally just too slow. You know the speed of my moves is just like diet you diabolical. So I've used this kind of plan before in these positions. It's quite a funny little plan. Uh, check this is who's that? Check this is that Roberson? Uh, who were the players? You guys have got more time to click on the players than me, so you can you can do that. Okay, so we've opened him up a little bit over here, and I'm hope that's going to help me rather than my opponent in this position but he is getting a bit short of time and my idea was make sure i cover g7 so get my bishop here keep a little bit of pressure up against his king maybe i should grab that one because he can go bishop here now um if i'd have taken there first i may well have won on on c3 i've got knight f2 which is a really actually very strong move but so he, he saw knight f2 but maybe he didn't see this move when it should be now game over and yeah he's trying all sorts but again one thing i've noticed recently is that the people are, are finding it harder and harder to resign in times of covid <laughs> do you ever get that when you're playing especially on lead chess when i play on chess.com people seem to know how to resign but on Lee Chess, I think they, people have literally forgotten where the resign button is. And I know a lot of you are going to be thinking, oh, but people don't have to resign. Of course they don't have to, but, you know, you really have no chance when you've got one second left and you're completely getting screwed on the board as well. Okay, so have we got into the leaderboard yet? No, we're not yet. We've got more, more movement to do. Um, I, I probably won't be able to look at the, the chat that much, but, yeah, I'm hoping that... Um, Aldo, who knows a lot of the players, can can help you out there. Now, Amit Garzi is a really strong player. He's he's one of the one of the favourites. So this is going to be a very tough game. And let's see if I can. And again, the problem I get, well, as well as uh, I don't know, I've got a lot of problems. <laughs> but one of my one of my main problems is my speed. I'm just not. When I get short time, I'm not as quick as some of these guys. So. This is uh, this is something to bear in mind here. I meet very fast, very good, and this is like the line he plays all the time. This kind of um, uh, perk system, which I quite like playing against, and I often get good positions. But then often a meet tricks me. He often tricks me. I'm quite glad there's no berserk. I have to say. Um, because berserk, I can't handle berserk. I've tried berserking. I'm awful of it, and now he's doing some weird maneuvers. I'm going. I'm going. I'm just. What do I do here? Let's just continue to play aggressively because he's playing very slowly. I don't want to move my knight here straight away because he might take it. But he's kind of waiting. I feel to put my knight there. Now I think I should punish him now, right? Because he hasn't castled, and I've got, I got this one as an idea. But I could end up punishing uh, myself here by trying to open it up okay we will open it up and now what is the right way to do this one that bishop's quite handy so i want to keep that bishop maybe i shouldn't have opened it up because it seems to probably just to only have helped helped a meet here with my opening of the position this knight is very good i want to get a knight to this square but that's not easy to do Maybe I'll come around this way. I can go knight here as well. How's that tactically working for me, though? Wow, this is always a good move. Because there are problems on this diagonal. Okay, now hopefully this one is okay. This is my idea. I want to get... I need to get this one out. He still hasn't castled, you see. So this is uh, something... I'm hoping will... I can punish him with this one coming around and maybe g4 if he does castle very interesting position we've both got fully developed now now this must be correct right so tricky a meet though a meet is such a tricky player you know you, you make one bad move and it's suddenly like oh god he's got you so 
That is, that's the danger of playing a meet. One of the dangers. He's a very good player. Very, very good. He's an IM, but he should easily be a GM. He just doesn't play a lot. So uh, I'm thinking Bishop D D7, and then do I take and go Knight E4? So he's come here. Okay. So now I will certainly get rid of that one. Any castling, any castling kingside for him looks risky. How do I take advantage? His knights are holding up the position here. Do I maneuver around? But then how do I ever get rid of that knight? That's 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 the problem. Don't know what his next move is. Do I just play something simple? Try to wait and see what he's gonna do. This gives me the opportunity to double up. Okay, now what if I play here? Is he actually going to grab that one? Quite possibly, right? The kind of thing I often fall for when I play meat. Here takes, and this is where my time starts ticking as well. Okay, I'm going to play this one. And I'm thinking I might even sacrifice that pawn, but I don't know. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. Why didn't I play bishop there? That's my idea all along. And somehow he's done it again, hasn't he? I think my position was good, but it's not so good anymore. Which is annoying because I'm sure I had a good position. I've got no time as well. I played some bad, bad decisions there. Bad, bad decisions. Okay, well, I have to play this, I think. If I, my time situation as well if he takes maybe he can just take it yeah well my bishop's guarding it so it might be all right both for a short time if i this is uh, okay so he's come in and again i like my position now <laughs> it changes so quick Does this work? Ah, oh, I can't see. Does Bishop F4 work there? Hey! Whoa! That was maybe a big win there. Why? I'm straight in the game. I am? Okay, I'm straight in with the game. Okay. What's that? Okay. Good. That confused me. Hey, well, I got to the leaderboard. Woohoo! Okay, that was, I uh, just managed to get that. That was a very important idea at the end there. Where I managed to get that little pawn break. Without that pawn break, I don't think my position was great. So, Chris Duncan uh, is the guy with a big beard uh, earlier on. He's, he's, he's a really good guy. And we've had this position many times. And I, I don't know, I doubt, I doubt either of us have really looked at this position too much. Um, now what's he doing he's trying to do something but do I believe what he's doing here okay well let's just let's just I'm a pawn up after all so why not try to just get to an ending my score against Chris I should keep the scores at the bottom is 15 and a half to two and a half he has beaten me twice Dan Smith oh I'm not I'm in 12th now okay is that poker player so okay but we'll keep it on the top board cider drinker mickey adams then you've got in second place but again aldo can help you out with this in second place we've got peter fiddler david howe some bloody good players there right can i make the rating of my opponent visible not at the moment no maybe maybe at some point but i'm not bothering at the moment um okay look i'll try to do it i know it's frustrating so okay let's do it i know it's not there you go how about that like i say I'm... okay right i'm just going to keep this position very simple because i am pawn up right so i don't need to necessarily do anything 
crazy. Oh yeah. Let's just put that there. There you go. You happy now? You happy? Maybe I should even take the... Oh god, what do I do? Oh, I nearly played Rook B8 there. <sighs> okay, back to the game. That would have really, really <laughs> annoyed me again. Okay, so, right, back to the game. Now, this one, obviously I'm doing well, but it's... It's, it's only one pawn. It's got to be one. And here... Wow, let's take that one off. And now that I'm not doing anything from the A file, we'll play here. And the way I'm gonna to try to win this is using these guys, right? These guys wanna come forwards, uh, bit by bit. So how do we facilitate? Okay, we're gonna go this way. I'm just trying to find the best square for my knight. Actually here is not such a shabby square, right? Let's go in there, because he's got a very weak F3 pawn. But he's trying to be tricky now. But he's the one who's gonna get tricked with that one. And then knight c2, okay. Um, so it's confusing why the game's, okay, I'm actually in second place. You better frame that and why, okay. Has that sorted itself out? Frame that while you can. And I'm playing Ravi Harrier. A youngster a gifted youngster who is in first place so um, quick win side uh, I'm just trying to I'm trying to like do the stream and uh, <laughs> drink but I haven't even had a chance to drink a beer yet I mean goodness sake you know priorities Simon priorities Aldo do you want to post the link to the tournament in the chat if I just whack it in there yeah um okay so he's gone here and he wants to clog it all up strikes me that i'm really thinking about playing d6 queen takes takes bishop takes knight b5 king i'm gonna try this one just because it looks quite interesting to me and I have this idea of knight b5 at the right moment to uh you can see how quickly it's changing over here right at least i'm on the same run as jabava right uh thanks aldo i'm on the same on the same score system as jabava i wonder who benefactor is who's benefactor aldo do we know who benefactor is is that quite possibly um oh god all right is that quite possible okay let's think about the position you idiot okay we'll go here not sure about that one either to be honest and now let's go in is benefactor maybe morozevich someone russian morozevich there you go okay now can i do this i'm really it's kind of position where you could easily go wrong. So I'm taking my time. This D6 is very interesting, but is it the right way to go? So far it looks all right, unless I'm losing a piece. Then it doesn't look so good. <laughs> Weird position. I've got G4 at the right moment. But do I have anything else? Okay, we have to go here. And he hasn't got time for this because I've got G4. I think and I'm very happy playing f4 g4 is a g4 okay has a check so maybe you can play this he didn't like it and now he had some serious problems in the middle but this is the name to break free but I've got a nice bind it seems to me in the center of the board just by playing simple simple chess I can grab that one. Is it worth grabbing? I'm not going to grab it in actual fact. Because I, I feel like my position is quite good without grabbing. Because I'm trying to suffocate him, right? So I want to suffocate his pieces. 
I don't want to take that pawn like these guys suffocate them and he can't move them what could he move is what I'm going for here okay so he's trying now finding a way getting into the game but this is still trying to suffocate him Trying. That's a beer. Trying to stop him from developing, right? I get this moving. I'm very happy. Okay, so now he's going to try to this one, but that doesn't really help him. So, how's he getting out here? See, this is my, my idea is to suffocate him like this. Shit time. Fuck. You can see I have a plan. Nice, 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 nice. Good little bit of suffocation there. But I'm running out of beer, I might have to have a pause. I got third place, it was all right. That was a nice game, I thought. Like a little bit of, that was a weird game. A little bit of like, gain a tempo, gain a tempo. Okay, who's this guy? This is like Nick Pert, I think, all right? So, and he's played the Dutch. Brave, brave man. Okay, we're gonna try to Dutch him up. Let's go for the kill. Let's go, let's go, let's go Gambit style. Not Gangham style. Oh, he knows it. Of course he knows it, he's read my book. This is, this is a good defense and actually, I wish I could remember what I'm supposed to do here. He knows it, he bloody knows it. <laughs> it, sh it shouldn't surprise me because it shouldn't surprise me that he knows this, obviously. This is like what I wrote about in my first ever book on the Dutch, right? So it's just quite funny that he's playing it. Um, so how are we gonna do this? He's playing quick, that's the thing with Nick, he's very quick, very quick player as well. And he's good, it's his birthday as well. This kind of idea looks, normal what I'm doing and do I have any compensation here I'm not sure if I have much but maybe something who knows sort of played this at the right time okay that's getting in the way that one isn't it be a little bit careful actually maybe I should have taken the other way okay but he has done this one and now I've got rook here queen here and some ideas are taking here but I have to be careful of knight h5 so Knight h5, I take on e5. Queen d6, I take here. Knight h5, Queen g6. And then his knight sort of comes to f4. And I, I think Queen g6 is my next move. So Queen here, Queen g6. Just try to again do a little bit of suffocation. Now he is trying to play that one. And I'm trying to work out if I can allow him to do that. I think I can, but. It won't be the first time I'm wrong. And again, I don't want to get too short of time because that is where 
get really, really in trouble. Do we go here? I guess we give them a check because we've got this one if needed. But, 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 but. Gonna just come back actually. That was a little bit safety first. Do I come here if he checks me or do I go? He's gonna check. This is. Check. I think I come here. This is a bit safer. And I'm a little bit better here actually because my bishop is better. This is the idea at the right moment with h4. So he's trying to swap off. I'm happy to give the birthday boy a draw if he wants. He doesn't want a draw. Okay, he does. Does he? Is that a draw? Oh, he's declined the draw. Okay. <laughs> he can decline it if he wants to. It's his prerogative. It's his prerogative. Da, 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 da. I don't know, I'm just going to move my king back with some forwards, I think. Okay. Yeah, that stops my run, but it wasn't an overly, overly interesting... Oh, God, what happened there? Overly interesting position. Who's this, then? Is this is this Morozavich? Do I have a chance to play the legend? Is this Morozavich? No, you got to win. i got to win. Well, I mean, I, I can't win in an impossible position, but, I mean, you know, that was just a draw, wasn't it? Okay. Now, he's pretty good this guy isn't he he's like what well, he's like everyone's hero isn't he everyone loves more because he is he's he's like one of the most unique players around comes up with some amazing ideas and is a, is a great player he's a great player we've got some weird isolated pawn position here And now thinking of this one at the right time. So to get my bishop. But I'm also thinking like mating him because I like check I like check mating people. I need to get a beer after this. Oh. Okay. So here he always has this one, right? Maybe I should have gone there last move. That would have been very clever. Too clever for me, right? And am I ever going to sacrifice? We'll go here anyway. We'll put it there just because I can't think of what else to do. And this one, maybe I should be playing this anyway and just try to checkmate him. You can't be afraid of these guys, right? You gotta try to you gotta try to checkmate these guys. Famous last words. Try this knight is really quite strong though. It's a very strong knight. You know, that knight in the way, how do I ever get through to him? Um, that's what I'm thinking of at the moment. Okay, I don't know about this one. And I don't know about grabbing this pawn, but it feels all wrong to me. Okay, it's a pawn though, let's just take it. It doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Time, Williams, time. But my bishop's so bad, isn't it? Certainly let that one, let some moves go a yonder here. Oh, if I take the queen, he's got this. That is really annoying. Don't want to lose the exchange, but I don't want to play this move. This is not fun. 
I suppose it, it gives me because my bishop this is this is a problem now where, you know when you have that impending feeling of doom I'm kind of getting that feeling now <laughs> I can't play I can't play my rook to to uh, he's gonna come here isn't he this is this is really bad this is just so ugly now and oh, I might even resign here you know this is just so bad I'll play on a little bit but I've got, I, I played a little bit passively there I had good position I just should have played bishop a6 when bishop a6 was a move to play right shouldn't have played it when it was absolute nonsense okay maybe resigning's fair here but I might as well might as well see if there's a one mover and no well, it is Morozevich after all, and that was uh, it was an interesting game. I was doing all right there for a lot of it. Uh, so we're still in the we're still in the sort of top top bit anyway of all these players. I need to have a beer break in a second, but that, that was uh, let that one slip a little bit. The last couple of games, maybe we'll play one more and get a beer. Okay, Vincent Kmore. They don't really get much easier, do they? This is like super proj, yeah? What are we gonna do? Let's do Tromposki. Let's see if he knows. Why is it doing this to me? I don't want this scene. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, okay, don't let it, oh, I hate this D5 move. I always get crap positions here. I wanna go back to the tournament standings. Why can't I do that? Let's see if that works. <coughs> no. Why is Lee Chess being an ass? Oh dear, did I say that? I'll get in loads of trouble for saying that, won't I? Yes, leave the site. Okay, can you see that? And this means I've lost 30 seconds arranging that, which is, uh, which is not what I want to be doing. Let's see, and I've spent another, okay. Um, okay, so I guess this is like some kind of dodgy theory that I've fallen into, but no, no worries. Um, let's just play some sensible moves. This d5 move that he's played is a very, very decent way of playing against the Tromposki. It avoids a lot of the fun. And now I'm afraid we're going to have multiple exchanges, which is certainly not ideal. Don't want to have loads of exchanges, but he's going to come with a minority attack. I've got to try to generate some play on the king side and well okay this way at least unbalances the structure for for someone and i need to give my bishop a little bit of air but more importantly i need to move quicker after that slow start i'll readjust things i'll go and get a beer after this and readjust a bit later so we play f3 can i readjust now quickly more 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 seconds off the clock There we go. In his time. In his time. Just in time. So he's giving up a pawn here, is he? Okay, well, I did take that pawn against Morozevich, which was a bad, bad idea. Oh, he's taken here. Does that work? Oh, he's got check. What's happening there? What's happening? Okay, maybe I should just... Takes, check. King moves. Takes here, takes here pawn takes here and he's won a pawn so I need to do this and his knight now is very good um, because he's got the f-pawn coming so I, I yeah this is again not the best um, position a man could hope for who's leading David's leading of course David's leading David's legend and you've got Torfinson up there as well now his pawns are looking a little bit scary, but there's not much I can do about it. The only thing I can pray to get in is this move. That's the only move I can try to do without that move. And I can nearly play it. Should I play it now? Just and shove that D pawn up him. If I don't do it, I don't know if I'm gonna have a chance to play it because this is so strong. 
I'm gonna have to play it now. I don't think I have any option there. I have to try and just complicate things by shoving this one. Trying to, but his knight is yeah, his knight's always been a, a bit of a killer. In, in this one and it remains to be a bit of a killer so I'm just just trying to run my pawn now I was thinking here but I've missed he had Queen Queen b3 um, strange position it's a pity this is always checkmate <laughs> oh time I don't know about that one, it doesn't really seem to do much. Here, queen here is just so, just winning, isn't it, for him? Or is it, well, it's very, ah, oh, no time, no time. It's going here, no time. Right, I'm not fucking about with any moving of their, moving of things for the stream. <laughs> Now, I mean, if I had more time here, there's, there's, there's like some chances because my d7 pawn is so strong and uh, he's got queen in, shit. And I've got queen here though. But I don't have any time. So this is the issue. He's just trying to win on time here, I think. This is probably a winning position for me because of this pawn. I don't know actually, it's very unclear, very unclear. Maybe not now, yeah. Okay, beer time. Um, so we dropped down the rankings a little bit there. Gonna have to get some wins on the board now. Um, and see if we can do that. How much time's left? Okay, we've got loads of time left. I'm, I'm playing, okay, I'm, am I playing again? I'm already playing the game. Okay, I'm playing playing Morozevich again. Give me a chance to get beer, can't you? Bloody hell. I think I have to pause the tournament. Okay, we'll try this again. Let's see. Be nice to get black two times in a row against the Mora monster. Just what you want, eh? We'll try this again. Let's try this again. Okay, you can have that pawn. Have that bloody pawn. I don't want that pawn. Okay, there's no messing about. The guys held up me having a beer, and that's pissed me off. Anyone who holds me up having a beer, getting a beer, it makes me angry. And you don't want to make me angry. Because I want, I want to get my nice, cold refreshing beer and he hasn't allowed me to do that so he's got me angry okay so weird position kind of like a positional pawn pawn sack maybe i haven't lost that pawn can't be angry at the mora man you can all be you 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 yeah you can't really can you so do i sh do we do we go here or do we let's just play it a little bit more sensible like this is this is clearly what we're we're trying to get at, right? Truly, clearly trying to get at e3. Um, I've had this kind of pawn sack sometimes before, and it's, it's quite interesting, you know. I don't know if knight takes us right, and he can't take that one. Do we go bishop there? And then what is, is the next question? Um, any compensation? I'm trying to find you. Compensation. Okay, do we go here? Then here, this doesn't feel right. Doesn't quite feel right to me. I guess I'm gonna have to pause this tournament. We need we need refreshments now. I see King's Crusher King's Crusher is doing a little bit of a run. We need a good I think we're gonna need a good second half now. I don't know what the qualifications are. Maybe someone can explain those to me. I think there's a knockout uh, uh, a little bit later on. 
Um, yeah, it's not it's not looking very convincing this this play that I've done now, but he's uh coming rook h4 maybe. Now bishop d6 is about as good as I'm going to get here. I've got knight takes d4 if if he doesn't play to that square, so he has to play there. And now his rook is his rook looks a little bit strange to me. He's quick though, isn't he? He is quick. And the reason I've gone backwards, which I don't really want to play, is I kind of I kind of like have this cheeky idea in some positions, even though I'm not even sure that's good. The, the main idea was that one though, which is obviously stops. I don't really like g5. You don't play a move like g5 against Morozevich because he uh, he punishes you. He punishes you for such a move. And what do you play though? Oh, time again. Time. So we might go here. And try to use that e pawn. Maybe it was all right for me at some stage, yeah, but not now. What is this? What is this random nonsense I'm trying on him? So I'm, I'm, I mean, again, I'm just hoping his rook is really bad, but in a lot of positions. But he's, he's probably not bad at all. Oh God, that's terrible, right? That is terrible, yeah. Okay, pause, pause. Pause the tournament, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna restart now. And we need a good run then. Be fair, we've had we've had quite a hard run of um, of players. That has to be said. So um, you know, so who have we got? We got David at the top, um, and who's this then, Aldo? Who am I playing here? Okay, no more no more Tromposkis. That didn't work well. We'll go for this. Uh, I've got a Desperado beer. Okay, we're just going to throw Harry up at him. Why not? It's not my birthday, even if uh, even if that's what it says. It's someone else's birthday. Got a desperado, a nice light beer. My second one of the evening. Who am I playing? Who am I playing? Anyone know who I'm playing? Do you know this guy, Aldo? Who is who am I? Who is this? This is the kind of thing you'll know. Lauren da Costa. Okay. So we're down a typical random Harry kind of thing. So we can see there's there's probably the more important standings. And I, I have to. We just have to go for some imbalance here. Some big big names playing right. Now this is probably a counter-attack but then I come in here and it gets really complex Queen Queen here's quite an annoying move it has it has tequila in it but only a really small amount of tequila nothing nothing worth getting excited about okay so next stage of this 
rubbish. <laughs> what am I doing next? Uh, well, I am going to get my queen kicked away now. I expect he's going to try and castle queenside. I've given up a pawn. I've given up my h pawn. David's destroying everyone at the moment. David Howe is, is so strong, right? So strong. Okay, he's simply taken out. Now I'm just even thinking, do I take with a pawn? Which looks all wrong. And then try to push it, but it does look too wrong. The only compensation I've got, really, is that he can't castle kingside. But I don't think that's enough. He can castle queenside, I think, quite safely here, right? I probably need to go here and just try to play b4 at the right moment to get some chances over there. Now his knight's going to get a very good square. Okay, so we go here. I don't really want his knight accelerating into e5, which it would have done if I'd taken that one. So can we play this? Queen e5, he gets the queens off. Maybe the ending is not the end of the world, but that is clearly what he's going to do at some stage. Okay, I have to go here. And I have to at least offer him that pawn. I'm a little bit slow here, aren't I? But I don't think he, he can't easily open up my king. And if he takes to the knight, I've got rookie one. If he takes to the queen, I take here. And I've maybe got rookie one and e5 anyway. And he, he's trying to avoid playing this because probably get decent compensation. Now, I think I have to play this one anyway. My king will get opened up now. Uh, if I oh if I take his takes here that's horrible that's a nice move. He's going to take and come in. He could take with a queen, but this is certainly more risky. Weird position. I, I I'm even going to play for this one because it actually seems my king is in more danger and we might be able to get a little bit of suffocation ah oh, he's got his rook coming there that is that's a move i had not seen now where is my king gonna go still back rank back rank whose back rank is weakest here because i've got oh he's got found a way to defend his back rank oh he hasn't he's going here that that doesn't look right to me because what does he do oh he checkmates me oh flipping heck simon my back rank why did i fall into that oh that was so silly i could just play anything else had a bit of time oh okay <laughs> so first half down where are we sitting now we are in 15th so we really need to get a run of wins now let's let's see if we can play a little bit better um okay let's do it so we're playing international master hennigan h born hasn't been working too well i might i might change back to something a bit more sensible at some point and we got some weird weird position right going on here uh god knows what this is about right okay very strange position but that's kind of what we want we want a bit of a fun position um to do it. uh okay so i'm just trying to get this f6 square if i can get the f6 square in this I don't know what's happening, but if I get the f6 square, then I'm obviously doing all right. Then I can get it now, yeah. Let's take it. Let's take it straight away before his queen might come in. And in this one, I think 
Harry has done a fantastic job. Liam Lefong, thank you very much for the, the raid, very kind of you. Watching me getting crushed by various people in this in this uh, in a very strong tournament. Very strong tournament. Okay, I've got some decisions to make here, but I'm I'm trying to work out. That's that was a good move. That good move that was played. And I'm thinking even about going here. I don't want to give up the F6 square. Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, it's a very strong tournament i'm sure aldo if he's still watching he's probably sick of me by now can um give you a link to the tournament now what is going on in this position people what is happening if i take king g7 and he seems to be surviving now if i take here knight takes and he's doing all right so have i have i again messed messed this up Well, I don't like it as much as as much as it was because I might have to do some something passive like this, and I'm just lo losing pawns um, all over the shop. Unfortunately, David Howe in the lead, doing very well. About an hour left, and I'm getting my pieces pushed backwards, which I'm not happy about here. I, I it looked like at a very good position, but I'm not liking my position now so we're having a very bad run of games at the moment we've lost a load in a, in a row and hopefully we can get back yeah it'd be cool to have a, a, a cat co collaboration at some point right it would be fun yeah definitely it's something we should do I'm actually down on time as well so I'm two pawns down down on time And I should have gone there first. I was thinking knight here, queen here, but I've just realized he's got knight knight into d3 check. Which which would be a bit annoying. So he's he's going another way. And we need to desperately get something going. So what opening change are we gonna go? Um Benoni is ready for Charlie. Good on Benoni. I wonder what Benoni's gonna play. Will Benoni play the Benoni? We might have to do some prep on the Benoni together, me and Charlie. Okay. No, I'm just going to get that one out of the way. And do we have any hope here? I don't see much. I've got to keep the Queens on. And I'm relying on some Night Jump coming in. To, to try to do something. Craftily, he's going next, then he has a check. But I do have queen takes c5, which keeps me in the game at the end. Uh, Michael Hennigan, my opponent, actually won the British Championships one year. Uh, I can't remember which year he won it, but one year Michael Hennigan did become British champion. Um, so he's clearly a very capable and strong player beat a lot of grandmasters he was also world world under something champion <laughs> a world under like maybe even world under 18 champion um but then i think he got into like a lot of the guys like stocks and stuff he didn't play as much chess so we're just trying to create as many problems as we can here is it going to be enough though? Don't want to get back spanked. Now, I think the only player who's slower than me is, um, is Michael Hennigan. And it's nice to actually play someone who is slower. Um, I, and a little bit dirty, but it ha happens to me all the time. <laughs> oh, it's a tough tournament, this. 
But at least at least we are a little bit above Lawrence Trent. I just saw Lawrence Trent's blow me. Phew. I, d I still don't know who all the players are. I mean, we're above Gwen Jones and, and some other very strong players. And we got Torfinson. I don't know which one this is. There's Bjorn and Bray Torfinson. Good friends of mine. Uh, and this is this is one of them. And they're quick, again. Well, I keep saying, the only person who's not that quick, I have to say, is Michael Hennigan. Sorry, Michael. Um, I say quick, quick moving. Can we go here and Nelia Barris is queen? That would be really funny, but he's got C4. So, yes. All right, we'll play some normal moves instead. Probably should have tried something a little bit more dynamic there, but he's going to grab that pawn. Very greedy, very greedy. Why not be greedy? And I want to play e5. So let's. I'm not worried about the pawn because it's taken him quite a lot of time to take that pawn. To be fair, I'm going to get e5 in now. I'm going to get e5 in. This is. You get some chances with this move always. This is Bjorn, is it? Ah, oh, this is Bjorn. Hello, Viggy. Hope you're doing okay. Hope everything's good. Yeah, I probably don't have quite enough here. Bjorn's the quick one, right? The tricky one. Bjorn's the tricky one. Bjorn, yeah, yeah, you're right. Bjorn is an I am, and Bray is the GM of the brothers. Now we kind of, what are we doing? Are we doing this? Well, I think we just have to push on the king side, and that that's where we're, that's where we're going to target him. On the king side, it's the only place we can try to get anything going now in first place still David playing very well David how so good Andy is Yoda thank you for the raid hello Andy hope you're doing okay we're playing a blitz tournament here quite a random a random blitz tournament it's not my birthday I'd like to say it, it's uh I could do this uh chess blitz of course should we do that no, let's 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 swing and go for this one. The Blitz tournament is the Pert's birthdays, Nick Pert, Rich Pert, and I'm so slow. I can't I can't multitask clearly. And um, Ali Mortazali, who's an international master. Right here we go. So this is my one plan of trying to do something. Now, can we go and take that one and come in? Oof, it's going to get really mental after this, right? If we do decide to take it, which I'm not sure is the right thing to do, but oh to hell! We, oh, I mean, we could go much slower. Let's go here first. Let's do this one first because I'm trying to win the pawn, and I'm thinking I'm I'm gonna okay. Well, he's giving me the pawn. Do I want that pawn? Is the question. I probably do, but. I'm going to I'm just going to put everything near his king and just see if I can checkmate him. I mean, I could have grabbed that pawn, but it gives him a little bit of time to defend. At least this way we 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 know what our plan is. Our plan is we we don't we don't oh he's going over here. He, he, you know, we don't care about pawns. We're just trying to checkmate him. There's no there's no messing about with pawns or anything like that. Okay. So we have got to stop him coming there. Cuz the queens must remain on the board. And we're trying to play knight f3 and pray. This is like attack and pray. Frankly ridiculous. <laughs> I've heard worse, funnily enough. Okay, in we go. Let's see how ridiculous this is, right? In we go. It's not that ridiculous, I'd like to say. It's, I've, I, I, I don't even think it's ridiculous. I mean, what are we, how are we continue this? Are we taking there next? I can't see how I'm actually getting through. We've got bishop c4 and take that one, but then his queen comes in. Bjorn loves a good counterattack as well. Okay, but now his queen can't come in, so bishop c4 is right. Frankly, not that ridiculous. I think you're fine. Thank you very much. Frankly, frankly, pretty sensible. Okay, now now just gotta not mess this up, Williams, as you often do. Do we just take here? I think we just take this one and come into h3 now. 
There we go. Frankly, not so ridiculous. We've got 55 minutes left, so there's still enough time to do a bit of damage. Now, where are we? We're in 12th place. We're in 12th place, so, you know, it's, it's okay. What are the qualifying? What are the qualifying spots? I don't know how many people qualify. Mickey Adams in second. The two English guys, one and two, right? You've got the European Blitz champion at one ahead of me. Uh, and we're playing against Ravi again. Now, what did we do last time? It seemed to work okay last time. Uh, we did this, right? This was, That was probably my best game against Ravi. So let's see if we can do it again. Okay, he's doing something else. And Ravi is super talented junior. Kind of not playing main lines today. This is uh, the Tory attack. Okay, I feel, I feel we're going to get Surge now. We need to get a surge of wins, right? Because we're in 12th place. How many people get through to play this knockout that got arranged? I don't know. So I'm just going to play this normal looking move. This is all very standard stuff. And now they normally castle this way. No, he's gone this way. Which, you know what? I'm happy he's done that. Because I feel like we can have some fun over here again like we did in the last game we're gonna we're gonna do what we did to ravi what we did to bjorn we're gonna move all our pieces over there maybe throw the pawn on the board and you know what ends the game do you know what ends the game checkmate so this looks like a very passive way to defend but does he want to go here so rook here here rook here I mean let's let's do it let's there's no point there's no point being afraid of things this one i go rook g3 so we're doing the typical rook swinger and rook g3 and then i'm threatening queen queen takes h6 um is ravi still a junior he's probably not a junior anymore is he he's probably not a junior okay so at least we have a threat now so he has to defend now do we have enough I think we need to bring the other one around, right? The other one needs to come around. <laughs> it's always fun playing like this, but you never know how sound it is. Okay, now I need to keep my bishop open. My bishop, and now the knight comes in. This is really nice. I actually had a game against Ravi in a very similar thing to this. So knight here, natural move. But if I take, he's going to take my knight. So we're coming, we're coming here. And I'm gonna win the exchange probably, because no, maybe we're gonna when we've got more than the exchange. I'll take this one first. I've got knight g4. Knight g4 is so strong. So so strong. And knight takes h6. All the pieces have conversed on Ravi's king. And I don't think he can survive here. This is just game over. This one, this one. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, young Ravi. And we have we moved. Oh, we're playing. Okay, don't. I always get black. Okay, we got white against this guy. That's a nice change. Should we black line up Morozevich? Should we try to black line against Morozevich? Should we do it? No, because he's done this, and I'm I'm gonna go here now. And I'm just gonna pop my head back here because he's more as average and I'm scared. Which I probably shouldn't have done, should I? Okay, out we go. Oh, it's okay, it is a street time, but I've had my third black in a row against more as average, and um I'm not saying I'm scared of the guy, but I'm scared of the guy. I'm, of course you're scared of Morozavich. Morozavich is just a legend, isn't he? He's like he's like a lot of people's favourite players. F favourite players or even favourite player. So my knight is very embarrassed in this position, which is, which is the problem. My knight is a problem. And my, yeah, my king is possibly not the happiest of souls either um so i don't like the way the opening's gone let's just put it that way 
and I'm really asking him for, to sacrifice here, and this is just going to be crushing. This is a horrible game. This has gone horribly wrong. Oh, I get some bad, I get some bad positions against Morozevich. Not surprising, but you know, ah, okay, we'll try again. We need, uh, we need to. Okay, we got, we got the King's Crusher again. We need, this is. Oh, I don't know why. Why doesn't it just go back? I do not understand why Leeches. Come on, just go back, you silly, silly thing. No, don't do that. And you're wasting my time, Leeches. You're wasting my time. I'm not sure why it's it's behaving like that. Oh, I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to just I'm gonna have to worry about that later on. Because somehow it's it's not showing the scores anymore. Okay, go back, go back. Lee Chess. What are you doing? Oh, okay. 30 seconds down the drain. I'm not worried about that now. <laughs> We're playing against King's Crusher and what's he doing okay he's going for a, a sort of hippo like hippo like system which I don't mind at all because it's a very passive system I was gonna come in okay that that was that was annoying can I do this now if not I'm in trouble yeah I've done this wrong fucking bloody screen messing messing up putting you off your stride okay so where give me the and why can't you just show the scores oh god right show me the scores okay thank you if that goes wrong again I'm 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 out of here okay so there are, we're, we're, we have 48 minutes left and we need we're in 11th place so we certainly need just to get a load of wins on the board here a load of wins on the board uh that's david howland first then we have jabava in second uh and meat is now in third as well and we got yeah i was gonna say you don't mess with me we've got we got keith arkal now and of course it's all all changed over here uh keith arkal very strong and right very good positionally and well keeps a very good player all around he's a very very good player all around not just positionally but you want when you're playing Keith, I think you want to make it a little bit more a little bit more tactical I'm gonna change I'm gonna change the stream title because it's not my birthday someone else's birthday as explained <laughs> okay kind of asking for this aren't I which he didn't want to do so I'm gonna I don't know I don't know if I should do that I guess I want to play here so he's stopping me doing that and this is the other move I want to play but a5 first but b7 is the problem if I if I try to get a knight to the square I could go this way but then he'll take it so he's kind of just playing a waiting move and well that is another thing I'm I'm scared of the knight coming to f5 and kind of the problem is when you play a move like that you kind of telegraph the idea okay so now I now I can come here and he's gonna if he takes there I'm hoping I have knight c5 just just in time just in time Yeah, so you can follow the tournament with Aldo's link there. Um, how long do we left? have left? 45 minutes. So um, I have a massive score against Keith actually on, on, on lead chess, 13 and a half to five and a half. I see David, uh, David Norwood's having a great tournament, which is good to see. And is this something to worry about? Uh, probably not. So we've got to go G5. The way to try and take Keith down, I feel, is to go for the attack against him and he's got some problems here because if he moves the knight I I'm gonna grab this pawn so he he's found a good move but I'm hoping this one works picking picking up a pawn because a rook takes d2 
and my bishop dominates the knight in h2 so it does work and now I don't know if b5 is a little bit loose again I don't want to go loose against Keith maybe it was right to do so but we'll come back and we've seen this idea before right we've seen this idea before he's finding some squares or is he oh dear I don't think he's found some very good squares I don't think he's I think he's found some pretty bad squares there unfortunately unfortunately for Keith well it's nice to, nice to trap a queen like that occasionally so 44 minutes and where are we positioned now we are we're still like in with a little bit of a shout that should have helped us a bit has it put us on the first page it has put us on the first page um, and I think the, I think the way it works is it top three players that go to some knockout thing so it's very unlikely and we're now we're playing David Norwood who is really really talented guy really talented guy thank you for I'm missing I'm missing notifications so if you're subscribing or something like that then I'm, I must thank you we always have quite fun games me and David and he always plays this G6 stuff like all these English guys play G6 um, Dave Nogood is David Norwood who well if you don't know who Dave Norwood is where have you been what have you been doing uh, will he play e5 nope and he kind of I, I guess black has to think do you play e5 or not and I think at some stage black probably wants to play e5 um, and I'm kind of wondering where, where do I put my my king do I put my king on the queen side or do I put it on the king side now I'm gonna given a chance go queen side and just try to check mating because it's obviously a lot lot more fun way to play uh, I'm not even going to consider taking that pawn because he, he, he can go a4 and generate we want to if I can close down this area that's why David's kept it open if I can close down that area of the board I will castle that way but now castling that way looks looks a little bit more a little bit more uh, risky he doesn't want to take my bishop because then I'll have queen g6 ideas the move I really want to play really want to play is g4 but now do I do I castle queenside which is incredibly risky move right do I even take here I might take this one I really want to castle queenside I really that's what I really really want to do but It's looking so risky castling queenside isn't it it's it's maybe a bit silly to be thinking that i'm mixing my plans up a little bit okay that one has to be removed and i, I clearly can't go queenside now it's too much so that's, so i'm gonna have to go this way and play a little bit more sensible now for the time being he wants to play this for the time being how oh, no it comes in here with a knight can we do that anyway do we throw the queen over okay so this is what he wants right let's let's get the king out of the way okay you can you can push he's going to push the pawn i just want to get my king out of the way of any checks and it's all weird isn't it it's all a weird position probably about even probably about even around here running out of beer though which is which is more more concerning um feels like I have some central control but I might I might be overextended at the same time we want to try and get rid of these pieces is I'm not I 
don't think I like my bishop there. I'm going to get that out of the way because it, it wasn't working. And knight... Oh, he wants to kill my bishop now. That's not very nice of him. What have, what's the bishop ever done to you? Well, we can do that. But my bishop is not happy at this moment in time. <laughs> very strange position. And he's, he's, he's David's playing... David's playing very well. Very good game he's doing at the moment, but just trying to keep some control. I've just realized the queen has a nasty way in. Um and I think now we gotta we gotta go for some we gotta try attacking here. So I'm threatening this at the moment. Look at this silly piece. This is an embarrassment. So someone beat David Howe, okay. Um, now, how is this working out? And not very well, I feel. Is it? I don't know. Okay. What's all this about? What's all this about then? What's his knight doing? I'm trying to work out. He's coming here. He's so tricky. <laughs> Bloody tricky knight, right? Stop it, you tricky knight. Bloody tricky knight. Tricky knight. That was a tricky knight. This is a tricky, <laughs> tricky position. was a little bit a little bit all over the shot that one wasn't it i mean uh, a little bit well completely over the shot so we do have david in first but he's actually lost his first game david's just on fire right david is on fire and then amit garzi very talented player he always seems to do really well in these events in second um jabbar the third and then we have svidler fourth morozevic in fifth david norwood Mickey Adams, and then Tom Rendell, and other players. I, I seem to be playing against uh, Ravi a lot. Why is it doing that to me? It always does that to me. Okay, well, I think we're going to get rid of that page because I've no idea how to control it. What are we going to do? Let's let's. Oh, he plays. Um, he plays Bishop Check, and I've never worked out how to deal with this Bishop Check when I play him. So we could get in opening trouble here. But so far we've done quite well. Is, is that going to work? Last time this happened, I lost. I bet. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna get rid of that screen uh, and get it back up next time. Uh, so we're gonna let's let's go g5. Just just uh, take the game a little bit out of the books. I've played this kind of idea many times before. Anyway many time before okay you're not helping are you and what are we can do well let's let's keep going right now this way seems like an idea to play Okay, I'm just trying to work out on the screen how to get back to the tournament. Uh, even when I put the link in, it takes me here, which I don't want. I don't want to be analysing the game while I'm playing. People could even say that's cheating. That one, right? Okay, that is the link. It takes me about a minute to find that one. <laughs> so, um, we're still in 10th place, but... Uh, we've got 35 minutes left. Where do we want to aim for? Well, 
29 points we're a long way off the top scores it'd just be nice to get like a roll of uh, you know some kind of roll going wouldn't it a roll of points somehow uh, so Ravi playing an interesting idea and the point being if I go here he's going to come into this square well I'm going to just put my rook on g8 quite a, just a really weird and wacky position this one bishop g5 was, was annoying and now I'm going to lose that pawn anyway so I'll, I'll, I'll put it in there uh, and what is my next move this this f5 is again the move i really want to play but i can't get it to work now can i go here here takes takes something nearly here probably uh f5 or this this one i think now what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to take this one and play knight h5. Which I might just go for. Take this knight h5, pawn takes, queen takes. And is that any good? I don't... Well, let's find out. Let's find out. Is this is this playable or is it just absolute? So my idea is pawn takes knight here, pawn takes queen takes here, which we're, we're going to find out. Well, he, he doesn't want it. He doesn't want any of that. And. Once you get into these situations, it's very hard to back down. You've got to you've got to keep going forwards. You can't suddenly you can't suddenly back down. But I think I've got a way of winning a pawn now. Okay, the queen's come off. I could have taken the knight and kept them on, but it is it does seem like a reasonably safe pawn. Not not a safe. Well, okay, it's now down to bullet chest and still this little bit of pressure on the on the king side he has f5 at some points another idea i'm aiming to play but now g3 in his position becomes very very weak so we will grab that one like a flash this one maybe maybe we don't need to because of time I, I can't think here it's just play uh, he's coming in over here right good idea so ah he's much quicker than me need to get my rook in how do we get the rook in push the h pawn just push the bloody pawn williams none of this you know push it queen it queen the pawn or at least at least get a winning ending this is oh no he's got he's got oh he had the bishop c8 move there. Oh, he's still got it. How can I get rid of that pawn? This way. It should be winning, but no time. Oh, my. Oh. Ah! Oh, okay keeps us in the top 10 with that win um interesting game it's nice to have an interesting game and we're back now playing david norwood uh who we know we know exactly what david's going to play g6 bang 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 <laughs> i i mean i i should have worked out a good way to play against this by now but i i never have done our last game was a lot of fun so what is what is he doing here okay i haven't seen this this particular way of playing but he's really inviting me to to do that, isn't he? Which is probably analyzed. So we just we just avoid we just avoid any sort of pre-analyzed positions. We don't want that. And he is exchanging off. Quite a simple structure here. I'm just 
trying to work out which which side I prefer to be here. I think it's probably just even, really. Probably fairly even this position. I've got two bishops, but they're not great bishops. This one can't ever play, and um, my opponent's very active as he as he's just as he's just uh, proven with that last move, which is a good that's a good move. Now, do I take the chance to get rid of this bishop? I probably do. Because I can try grabbing grabbing the pawn uh, if I get a chance as well. Half an hour to go now in the tournament. Maybe I'll put the tournament countdown here. So there is the tournament countdown. Just to make things even more complex. Just another thing to go wrong. There you go. We'll put that there. Just so you can see how long's left. It's a two-hour tournament and incredibly strong tournament and I, I wonder who were uh, does anyone know who Merlotti is who is Merlotti anyone tell me who Merlotti is I don't know who Merlotti is woman grandmaster Merlotti clearly a good player uh, now my knight is a r really really good piece because it stops it seems to stop a lot of play but an even better square is c5 eventually so of course I say my knight's a good piece and I now nearly had to move it but some kingside attacking chances for me is there f3 is f3 is is tempting but then knight then knight into g3 so I'll cover g3 this one's holding my position together so far and now I've got the idea of f3 and well maybe knight c5 but i quite like this knight but I, the the main area the main thing i'm looking at here is really david's david's king side but he's got to deal with the threat of f3 because at the moment f3 just wins a, a whole piece so if i take that one and go f3 he's got he's got he's got d2 so i want to come in first i expect he's going to play something to to randomize it like rook takes b2 because again, f3, looking very scary. Okay, so he's getting rid of my knight. And I'm trying to transfer it to a kingside attack, but I can't see how that is. That's a good move. He's, he's getting rid of my good piece. Now, I, I don't have enough pieces to... Takes, takes... Okay, we'll try, we'll try this. This is a bit of a punt. I'm trying to get my rook over here. And... He's found a very nice defensive move. Okay. Is this any good? Or am I, is he just going to take my rook? Is he literally going to take my rook? Here. To, uh, well, I can't back down now. It's too late. I'm going to win. No, I'm not going to win that one, am I? I'm going to take these. This is <laughs> this is just crazy game, right? Oh, Sofé Millet. Okay, Sofé Millet. Very strong, very strong French. Been French champion before. So this is this is now getting interesting because I'm taking a lot of pawns. I'm going to take this one, this one, and that king is like, look at the king run. And I've got rook h7 coming. If he comes here, queen d6 is mates. This might just be a really good game. More more by luck than by <laughs> than, than by planning, right? I, I mean. I have to admit, I didn't. I certainly didn't plan this checkmate. I'm not going to claim uh, Hikaru. I went boom, 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 boom. Checkmate, yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do that. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> that certainly wasn't planned. Let's just put it that way. It was uh, okay. We're number ninth now. That was more like okay. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. You can't. You can't plan everything in life, can you? So we're up to ninth. Um, waiting for the pairings to start. 82 players. Thank you, Andy. It's nice to uh, nice to win a game there. Do I have time to go and pick up? A, well, okay, this one this one should last me. Now, who is Davy Gator? I don't know why it joins on that screen. Okay, Davy Gator. Who's Davy Gator? David. Anyone know who Davy Gator is? David Ledger, potentially. I don't know. David Ledger might be David Ledger. He seems like he, he knows his theory better than me. 
Uh, what do I do here? Like, it's a bit. I, I always find it really annoying when I castle kingside because the reason I play this line in the oh, in the French, I thought you could maybe take there. The reason I play this line in the French is for queenside castling. So when they don't do that, you're like mm, annoying. Um, and it's a bit more of a positional sort of struggle. Okay, so he's, he, we, we can see what he's trying to do to me. It's a little bit annoying that one. Okay, I'm gonna have to take that one off and get my queen somewhere. Maybe here and go for it. We're gonna quite possibly get an ending. We haven't seen many endings yet. I don't think it's David Ledger. I don't think it's David Ledger. This, this, no offense to David Ledger, but David Ledger, David Ledger is not normally is. Well, it does sound quite offensive. I was going to say quick moving. Who is it? It's a CM as well. It's a CM, CM. So it can't be. Um. Okay, so I think we will have to go for. The ending now i might no we don't want to do that he's a lot quicker than me whoever it is what am i doing okay let's 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 start moving speedy david oki ah yes that would be that would be very likely david oki is a really really fast really fast blitz player so that that is very possible and positionally, I'm positionally I'm worse here because these dark squares and my bishop is not, not very, not very pleasant. So we're trying to we're trying to just push on all areas to to create something. Okay, so we do that. David Oki is a very good player, and now and he's and he's bloody quick, isn't he? Bloody quick. What am I doing, guys? I'm trying to work out what my plan is. I need to. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying everything to. Uh, let's let's do that and just see if we can go e5. Okay, so we got this one in, and now the more I open up, the more I'm hoping my bishop might be happy. Okay, so he's got that, but hang on, am I winning anything there? I'm not winning anything, am I? Okay, so here makes more sense and he's playing very craftily do, 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 do. right so I don't want to make my bishop somewhere completely rubbish he's so quick this guy slow, slow down I'm, and I, I'm kind of worse here aren't I because he's attacking a lot of pawns right this is the only way I can see to, but it might be a draw. If he took the pawn, I mean, he didn't take the pawn. Okay, time. Okay, I have to go d4 if I wanna win and I can't do that now. This is a really grim position, really grim ending. Very nicely played for my opponent. It's the only chance I got. Push this a pawn. Push it and pray. His pawn's coming. Can't think how to win this. Maybe it's not winning. Draws not the end of the world, but it does break my my run. Obviously, he could flag me here, right? A four, A four, and flag me. Knight here. Knight here. Draw probably. If I offer a draw, I probably should. Yeah, okay. Okay, it was a draw. It was a draw. That's is uh, so tough. You've got to keep the streak going. Uh, Twenty minutes left. He played very well there. He's very quick and confident, right? Much, 
quick, confident, played good. And um, at the top, still David Howe, you have uh, Svidler in second place, Amit Ghazi third, European champion Gwain, Jabava, uh, Morozevich. It's, it's, it's a lot of names, a lot of names. Now, okay, and we've got... Um, now we are playing... Uh, I think this is yeah this is my friend uh, this is this is Bray this is Bray Torfinson this is Grandmaster Bray Torfinson even though it's not coming up as a Grandmaster here my opponent is is a good Icelandic Grandmaster a good friend as well so we're just gonna get this set up and then decide what to play I'm gonna play h5 to keep it keep it alive in these last 20 minutes we got top 10 well i'm number 11 for the moment maybe we should go with top 10 finished top 10 is is something to go for i'm surprised what he did there um if i take with a bishop he goes bishop e3 so I'm not sure if that was the best way for him to play but So we got this extra pawn. I'm wondering though. Well, I'm gonna have to castle kingside. This move, this move scares me a little bit. So let's go queen here. And if he goes f5, I, I have the option of whipping it off. And I st okay. So I think I think this f5 move of his makes a lot of sense because he's one pawn down. An extra pawn doesn't matter too much. And this keeps my king in the center of the board and now base oh shit i missed that one <laughs> it's got that time of the day oh no that slips me down into 12th nice little tactic there he's on a bit of a run now after that nicely done so 18 minutes to go and david howe still and i've got the other bloody brother now Right, let's see. We don't want to lose to both brothers in a row. That would be bad. David's only lost one game, David Howe. That's really impressive. David Howe playing so well. Okay, so now we have to play other brother Torfinson. Bjorn Torfinson. What nonsense is he playing here? What is this absolute rubbish? Looks like he should be punished for... He should be punished for this, shouldn't he? Okay, let's take here. Because this check... This check is going to make him move his knight back. And now, he can't really get rid of my... My... Uh, he's so quick. He can't really get rid of my knight now. So he's got this problem here. So this is a very nice position. Yeah, David Howe is just really good. He's really good at blitz. One of the best blitz players in the world. David. Without shadow of doubt, I mean, you, you know, he's uh, he's fast. He's uh, he calculates very very well. Um, every area of his game is good. So, and he's dominant. He, you know, he's head of Svidler by a long way. He's head of the European champion. So well done, David, so far. Now, I didn't expect him to do that. I kind of probably should have just gone for this deep pawn rather than starting to do things on the the king side, but we can. Uh, oh, okay. I we'll have to take on d6 now, and he's he's kind of tricked me a little bit there by playing this this quite wacky idea. Bjorn always comes up with very very interesting ideas, very sort of uh, off the beat ideas. And we're now going to get some kind of ending. Um, well, he's probably not worse and I'm worried about him coming in so I'm gonna try and at least consolidate so he can't get my king trapped on the back rank and this is a weird ending but my okay now I could could I do that not really so certainly seem to mess this up a little bit but I'm 
Now I want to go here, but it's the kind of move you play, and you're like, oh god, I've just got checkmated. But now he's now he's getting checkmated. So, oh no, he's not. He's got rook g8. Wow. Okay, well, we'll have to take this now. I thought that was checkmate, but it's not quite checkmate. But that is now. Okay, those two pawns were too strong. 15 minutes left now. Top 10, I suppose, is what we're going for. We're sneaking We're sneaking back to tournament. Yes, back to tournament. We're sneaking into, what, we're 11th place now. And we'll just try to get a top 10 here. There's so many strong players. We'll have a look at the standings afterwards. I mean, look at some of the people in it and, you know, how they're doing. We've got David, David no good again. And we're going to, let's, let's get a Dutch in now. Um, we fought on the Dutch many times before. And I'm just going to go for a very blunt, a blunt way of playing. But first of all, develop all my pieces. Let's see where he puts his king. I'm, I never really want to commit too much until he decides where to put his king. So you get like a lot of weird waiting moves. So if he goes this way, then we start doing this. If he goes the other way, then then we change our plans. But he, he hasn't he hasn't done either of those. So can now I play this? Maybe, maybe it's a maybe move. D five takes, queen takes, and then I'm taking here with something right. And I seem to have picked up a very useful pawn. Don't let him have that one. Let's move it over here. This is normal, normal. And that is a nice way in. Uh, right. So my position's great, but it's like, okay, what do, you, what do you do next here? I'm always looking at the king, but probably I should be just swapping off nice and nice and calmly or something. Okay, let's 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 swap off nice and calmly. Mature approach. Mature approach. Uh, actually, that's a bit of a boring approach. Why didn't I try to attack his king? He hasn't got a defender of his king. I always regret it. As soon as I, as soon as I go for the more positional approach, I'm like, oh my words! What are you doing? You're losing a pawn. What are you doing, Williams? You're doing this. You idiot! You should just attack him. Why don't you just attack him? You idiot, Williams. Uh, right, so we are losing a pawn, but my rook will come into c2 and win a pawn back. I don't think I am losing a pawn. Only 12 minutes left at this moment in time. 12 minutes. There are, well, there, are, there is, after this one, there's a knockout thing. So um, we're going to, I think Fiona's streaming as well. So I'll probably go and watch her stream. I'm talking really slowly he's got to take that now and strange position strange 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 okay how can I how do I do anything here how versus Adams this is gonna be interesting let's have a look so David, like I say, it's an amazing result only to lose one game. That is really impressive, to lose one game against some of the world's best players. Okay, what, what, any, okay, this one, no, he takes there. What are you doing here, Simon? H5, just to try to play this and get the king in somehow. Well, yes, well done. You, you, you have let his king in. That's that's not not really what we uh, had planned but this one oh he's coming in here look at that king go 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 okay and yeah his king has done a great great run there and I'm, I'm just just a lot worse here we can chase his bishop around, but I think his bishop's actually weirdly getting out. And I, I've really helped him. <laughs> How many pawns down am I? A lot. A lot of pawns. So, okay, we'll chase this around a little bit. But it's not going to be chased very far. And uh, this position is gone. Which is a pity, because uh, I, I suppose, you know, if I wanted to top 10 finish, maybe I should resign now. Let's resign and see if we've got time 
to uh, uh, get top 10. Well, we're 14th. Everyone's going for this late run. And it's a pity. Another thing I find a little bit of pity about these lead chess tournaments, um, personally, is that you, you tend to play the same players, right? Um, and this seems to always happen to me when I play these lead chess arenas. You get stuck playing the same players. Is that normal? It seems, it seems a bit odd to me. Uh, it'd be nice to play sort of a bigger range. So I've played David Norwood, I've played Ravi, and, you know, time and time again. Can't I can't, you know. So. Right. Now, Ravi, oh, Ravi, oh. Ravi, oh. Ravi, oh. This is probably a bad opening for me because you get this kind of thing in the semi slav but. Um, now he's got this extra sort of tempo which he's played nine minutes to go and he's going for my pawn he's a pawn up but the reason you play this kind of way way is the reason you play this way is because black doesn't have anywhere safe to put his king the pairings work around those within your position. Well, what I kind of realise that, but if you look at my position, there's many other people. I mean, I think I've, it seems like to me they do they start the games a little bit too quickly, maybe. Like, wouldn't it make more sense to to wait and try to uh, try to pair you against someone else? Of course, of course, Lee Chess is great. Oh my God, I know if I say anything bad about Lee Chess, you literally get lynched, and I'm not. I mean, I'm just saying the pet. Well, I am. I'm saying the pairings, maybe they could adjust it a little bit, right? But Leeches is fantastic. What a fantastic free, free thing to play on, right? It's obviously bloody brilliant, Leeches. Amazing, it is. And the playing, the playing, you know, how you play on Leeches is very, is very nice, isn't it? It's a very nice sight. So don't get me wrong, I like Leeches, but I'd just like to play a bit, a different range of players, right? It'd be nice to try my wares against, I don't know, like, someone else in, in that little score group I'm on. Uh, so will he be able to castle? If he castles here, he's doing very well. If he can't castle, then it's it's going to be tricky for him with the rook coming here. Seven minutes to go. Probably this game. One more game. We've dropped down a lot now. All these people racing at the end. So actually every point here is, is, is going to help out. But... We haven't got a top 10 finish, so that loss against David Norwood was was pretty bad. Um, now I have to play for a win, so this check, well, this is the only way again to keep him from castling in the position. Put the queen on b7. Do, 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 do and how long we got six minutes left okay so david did lose that last game to mickey but he's so far ahead great performance by david at the time he still can't he still can't be caught no really really impressive how many points are we on okay well if it's it's probably not even worth looking at the moment uh because we need to get two more wins right he's got castled ah oh, boo and now that he's got castled i'm like oh dear Oh dear, and he's got the bishop coming here as well. I forgot he could castle there. How could I forget castle? And I think that spells trouble for me in, in this position. Uh, this bishop is just so strong. And if I take that one, he takes here. I forgot he could do that. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's a tough, tough position now. Mm, not sure how to play it here. Probably as good as any any move I can think of but his king is only weak on this diagonal and now now he's going for some exchanges a little time advantage as well du, 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 du. so uh, one one punt but even even that he can move his rook and his king can sort of run away so even that's not not scary two pawns up should should be enough for him we will try this one punt. Thing is, he moves his rook, and it's very hard to mate, right? Because with this is such a good defender. So the only 
other thing I can try to cause any problems. Oh, nice move. Nice move, sir. And I think that's got me, right? Uh, ooh, I, I can take it and do this, but still keeps me in, in the game. And now, weird position, right? Very strange position. Look at my queen. Look at my queen. My queen is, my queen is like, save me. And time, time is also like, oh dear, yeah. For both of us. My queen, my queen. Look at my queen. <laughs> wow. Very nice idea that Ravi's played here. Got to give him that. Very nice idea. But it didn't work. <laughs> Still a nice idea. Has that got us any bet higher? Okay, number 14. So we might have one more game going on, but we have to blitz it out uh, to finish it off. So um, I think most of the time we've played... Okay, let's let's see if we can get, get the blitz going. We've, we've Most of the time we've played like IMs and GMs, so it's been okay. So we have to play really quick here to have any chance. So because of that, the tournament ends in three minutes. Three minutes, people, which is not... A lot of time so come on quickly I don't think I could play a game in three minutes it's like instantaneous I like my position as well that's my last chance to get a couple more a couple more good move from my opponent play so slow too slow too slow too slow we're gonna we're gonna Get cracking like we did in the Ravi game. This is the same sort of idea. Just get the queen over there and try to checkmate. And my position's good, but three minutes. Instantaneous. Maybe I should be bringing this one in to go for the kill. I say my position's good. It's all about king safety. And his king is very exposed here. Um, rook here, maybe. But I still can't see the way. I'm going to checkmate. Oh wow, he's done that, okay. And this might be a good way for him to play. He is defending. Queen c5 defends everything. Let's hope he's not, oh, he plays it as soon as. Two minutes, 19 left. Uh, 14th place here. <laughs> do, 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 do. Just trying to just trying to swing it over. It's my last last try uh, to get in, and the only thing we can do here is is got to watch the back rank as well. But we've got to we've got to try to blitz a checkmate against him really. Um. So I'm, um, well, that's what I'm trying. <laughs> trying to blitz a checkmate, and gives me very good likelihood of blundering, even if my position becomes strong. Ah, uh, ah, uh, move. Move, one minute. One minute, 11 left. He's, he's defending well. Look at that king, his king's walking out. He's still defending. And, oh, that's so nearly mate. So nearly mate. But it's not mate. I mean, it's course winning. Oh no, uh, he does have this one. That would be stale, that'd be a, a perpetual probably. Forty one seconds though. Wow, he's gonna pin my queen. What a what a position, yeah? <laughs> he's gonna pin my <laughs> what a weird tactical line. I think he's actually winning here. Can you believe it? He's actually winning. He's, he could go to he could just go to D three. 
and uh, it's 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 winning. So, but maybe a draw is the best best thing. That was just peculiar, right? I mean, look at look at the end of that game. But okay, we we can uh, bring up the scores now and, and just see the end because of course there's uh, there's no absolutely no point of playing anymore. Tournament's over. Very fun tournament. Uh, quite intense. Quite intense. And let's well uh, let's go back and see how everyone did. So first of all, congratulations to David Howe who played fantastically. So we'll just see here. He only lost two games and he won with a very, very good performance. Um, and so let's see, what, what performance did he get? Can you see their performances somehow? So his performance is 29-10. Uh, we had Svidler, 28-52 in second. And then Amit Ghazi, 28-24. So all these guys playing brilliantly. Jabava, all over 2,800. Uh, so well done, you guys. Everyone in the everyone in the, first, in the top ten has basically had a great tournament. David Howe, Svidler, Amit Ghazi. Um, the only sort of player you might think is is you know not not kind of up there, but he is. He's he's brilliant this time. Look, Gwen Jones, European champion. Jabava, Hayden, very good player. Then you've got um, Morozevic. Wish I'd played better against him. Mickey Adams, Vincent Kmart, Billy Big Man, who's a blitz specialist. And let's have a look at my performance. Well, my performance is 2600, which is not too bad. Don't, I can't be too upset with that. And uh, we got into the top 15 and we're above a number of GM, so it's, it's, it's okay. Um, let's just add in the chat here, shall we see what everyone's saying? Because I think there's gonna be some playoff and, and I don't know how, exactly how that how that's going to work, but we can have a look at on I think Fiona's Fiona's stream. So we we'll just say thank you to everyone. Thanks everyone, and good luck. And let's just see how the birthday people got on. So the birthday people were well, that's Sophie Millet, Grandmaster Dave Norwood, Thomas Fodor, I think. Grandmaster, Keith Arkell, Grandmaster. That's Nick Pertz. Nick Pertz, one of the birthday guys, but he's he's playing in 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 the next round. The Bjorn Torfinson, Kings Crusher had a good tournament in the end. What was his rating performance? Yeah, that's a good good performance of Kings Crusher. Uh, Ali Mortazali there um, was the other guy who had a birthday. So well done to him. I'm just seeing. So I think in 12 minutes time, something like that. Uh, who is it then if it's not Sophie Millet? Who is okay? Let's see if we can find out. If it's not Sophie Millet, who is it? The women grandmaster who did very well. I wonder who this can be. Merlotti. Should we try to find out? It doesn't say, right? Merlotti. Uh, that might be Tanya Sachdev. Could that be Tanya Sachdev? Possibly Tanya Sachdev. I'm going to go for Tanya Sachdev good tournament good tournament for her i think um yeah so you can go down the list there's loads of other players strong players in there um and keep looking grandmasters a long way blair blair had a good tournament um adam hunt international master move by move i think that's john m's i think and Lawrence Trent looked like he pulled out after a certain moment. And we keep going. How did the poker guys get on? Malcolm played. Payne only managed one game. Justin Tan one game. And let's have a look. There's, I'm just trying to work out how. Um, okay, I'm just looking for one name. This this guy Dan. He's a very good poker player just interested oh he did he did well he did well he came above some good players all right so if you want to um keep looking at this tournament the knockout stage is going to start which is going to be great and i'm going to go and grab myself a beer and i think i'll watch fiona's commentary of that so it's going to be a load of fun so we're going uh, we're going look at that peter Fiddler's also broadcasting the tournament so did he qualify Fiddler? 
he did so peter's going to be playing in that so you've got a couple of places to go which is which is great um and uh yeah thank you for watching the stream and i'll see you again sometime soon so i'm gonna send you over to where the action is uh, and like i mentioned a couple of people are streaming this you've got uh, you've got Fiona streaming this tournament, the finals, and you've got the legendary Peter Sviddler as well. So, choices of where you want to watch it. Uh, Fiona should be covering all the games and Sviddler will be covering his encounter. So, uh, until next time, uh, I'll see you, so, see you all again. Bye for now.